this BMW came in because it was cranking, you know, starting train malfunction and all that, many different errors. Um, there was not actually, uh, we can say, a history of what happened to the BMW. The owner of this BMW just said, oh, the car doesn't start. It cranks, but doesn't start. Well, uh, it, it is um, very hard to know when you have a very short background on what happened to the car. But, uh, you know, it, it is good to start investigating what was the issue. So, um, after a series of tests, after checking the engine in different ways, there was nothing wrong with the engine except on the compression. The compression of the engine was kind of like off. There were some cylinders that had compression. There were some cylinders that didn't have compression. The engine was still cranking with no problems, but it didn't turn on no matter what you did to it. And, well, of course, you can clearly see the reason why the chain came off. This is the timing change and it came off completely. The reason why it came off completely is because this ball over here got loose for some reason. This one right here, see, it is open. If you come this way, you're going to be able to see it inside. Right there. It is like the ball was loose or he uh, stretch out or something not sure what happened here but i believe that this uh, engine uh, was repaired before because this gasket right here it is not old gasket it's, it looks like pretty recent gasket it doesn't look that old and uh, i believe then that was the reason probably they removed something probably they remove the uh, uh, car the camshaft gears and they didn't tie them properly or they over tie them messing with the thread inside the camshaft and uh, it uh, damaged everything you can clearly see that this engine was running when this happened the gears over here have no damage at all see these are pretty nice They're, they have no damage but these gears over here the teeth they have damage see it was just like you know like doing friction constant friction one, once this one was coming out a little by little, you can see all the damage right here. And we have some marks over here when the chain was rooming against um, the gear over here. And also over here, we have some damage too. Let's get it off right here. See, we have a lot of damage here too, where the chain was just spinning around. It's surprising to see that none of the timing guys were, com were broken, see they're all in a good condition, all the timing guides are in a good condition. It's kind of like unusual to see because they're supposed to break, but they didn't break for any reason, I don't know why, but anyway, it is uh, it is not uh, a problem. The problem is then this one is, is uh, damaged. So what to do in this case? In this case, we have a, um, the uh, engine timing completely off engine was running while the engine was uh, when the timing chain came completely off so what happens when this happens on your BMW or any 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 vehicle the problem is then uh, when the timing gets off the cylinder valves the head valves they are these ones these are the head valves right here these ones are going to get in contact with the piston and as consequence, we're going to suffer a damage, an internal damage. And um, if you come on this side, these over here, these little things over here, these are the rocker arms right here. These ones are the ones that push the ball down. And those are the ones that open and close when it is time using the camshaft um, over here on top. So. If we go to the rear, we want to see that those things are missing over here. See, the cylinder valve is completely open. It doesn't have the, uh, the push rod, the rocker arm, however, however you want to call it. It doesn't have them, see? Completely, they're gone on the three cylinders on the back. And uh, the major issue is going to be internal too. So as we go inside the cylinder, we are going to see the damage on the piston and everything else then was in contact with the valve. 
and this was a severe issue since we have a broken head in this case it is a uh, leaking water coolant in this case to the uh, to the cylinder and as a consequence we have a broken engine and uh, when we have a broken engine uh, basically all we have to do is replace the engine completely because we cannot repair this engine at all this engine is not fixable because we have a broken head and broken cylinders the cylinders are scratched so um, it is not only one, there is a couple of them that are damaged, it, depending on the cylinder you're looking, there is some that have more damage than the other, but uh, it doesn't matter how many cylinders you have, uh, if you have one cylinder then it has a bigger damage, that's it, engine cannot be repaired. You can take it to a machine shop, but it's going to cost a lot of money just to fix it. And uh, it depends if you like the engine so much, that's the only reason why, I mean the vehicle so much, that's the only reason why you want to do big repairs. But uh, this is probably a question that many of you have. What happens when the engine timing goes off? What happens if my timing belt or my timing chain breaks while my vehicle is running? Well, here is the example. Timing chain off, broken cylinder bolts, broken piston, broken um, connect, uh, cylinders, uh, bad connected uh, rocker arms that are damaged over here. Probably bad crankshaft. This crankshaft is going to be bad. We have to replace it if we do repair it. So, but this engine is going to trash anyway. So we have a damage uh, crankshaft uh, on, on the back. See, this one broke. This one broke over here. See, that's when everything happened. See. So uh, this is all the issues you want to get when a timing goes off in any vehicle. Some vehicles are going to be um, uh, able to resist this type of uh, issues because they're made in a different uh, type of uh, engineering so that way if the timing goes off they will be able to clear a damage but in this case this vehicle didn't you suffer a major damage then it's not going to be worth to fix it the best way will be just to remove the engine and place an unused engine and probably that's what is going to happen but i don't think people are going to spend a lot of money on this car because it's a old bmw so um, probably they're just gonna buy a new bmw which is going to be cheaper and faster probably not cheaper but faster to get it because it's going to be running and driving and this one will take some time to buy the right engine and uh, do the uh, step necessary to repair whatever else needs to be done with the engine to uh to make it run fine it's just a small talk about it uh, i think that many of you want to know what happens when an uh, engine loses its timing and when, when the engine loses its timing, uh, here you have the results, you have to uh, understand then it's not going to be a cheap repair and, uh, and now you can clearly see what could be the issue if that happens. Um, the easy solution, replacing the engine as I said before, and the small expensive solution will be to repair this engine, which is going to be way, way too expensive. Well, uh, I hope you like this video um, and um, if you have any questions about it just comment below or go to Instagram look for me Francisco Maya YouTube and there you can ask me anything um, uh, probably you can be the next video on my channel using your BMW too um, you wanna send any kind of any kind of support to the channel you can check the description of the video I have details how to send support to the channel uh, we can uh, create content like this for all of you that want to learn more about these machines. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and thank you for watching.